So Jen Psaki, uh, the absolute hero of partisan Democrats and liberals, they like to, whenever she responds to a question in a pithy way, they like to go, Psaki bomb, bro. We love you so much. Be my mommy, please. Uh, she responded to maybe one of the only decent questions that you see from some of the reporters in the room um, at these uh, White House press secretary uh, meetings. And this went viral because of how dismissive she was of a perfectly reasonable idea. Take a look. Look at what we've done over the course of time. We've quadrupled the size of our testing plan. We've cut the cost significantly over the past few months. And this effort to uh, uh, to push uh, to ensure insurers are you're able to get re your your tests uh, refunded means 150 million Americans will be able to get free tests. That's kind of complicated though. Why not just make them free and give them out to, and have them available everywhere? Should we just send one to every American? Maybe then. Then what? Ha then what happens if you if every American has one test? How much does that cost? And then what happens after that? You know, all I know is that other countries seem to be making them available for in greater quantities for less money. Well, I think we share the same objective, which is to make them less expensive and more accessible. Right? Amazing. Less expensive and more accessible. That's what she says at the end. What does that remind you of when they talk about healthcare? These are the weasel words about healthcare that I've always warned you about. We need to expand access to affordable healthcare. Why did you put in like three qualifiers there? Well, the answer is simple. Because what they're trying to say is not free, definitely not free, definitely not free at the point of service, definitely not funded by taxes. Don't get your hopes up too high. That's what they're doing. Now she's doing the same thing on tests. Now notice the massive contradiction. She starts out by mocking the idea, and then at the end she tries to be like, Oh no, totally, we're totally, we have the same goal as the other countries. Well, obviously you don't, because you just mocked the idea of free COVID tests when other developed countries are giving out free COVID tests. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, it's the middle of a pandemic. And in the middle of a pandemic, it would be nice if the government was actively doing things that would help mitigate the fucking pandemic. Totally dismissive. Now, just to give you an extent of how pathetic we are, um, in the UK, you can order seven pre free tests per day. You order them and have them delivered a day later. And what was her response when asked about... I, I, by the way, see, and this is... A bigger takeaway from this is, this is why you need a good media. This was like one of very few examples of the media actually holding... The government accountable the question was like why not just make them free and give them out to all americans and her response was should we just send one to every american you you th they're under the dictionary definition of smug there's a picture of her face when she said that <laughs> would you send one free to every american and the response is my favorite maybe <laughs> like yeah, of course we fucking should. Who are you kidding? And then her rebuttal after that is, well, how much does that cost and what happens after that? I don't know if you guys know this. We just farted and added another, what, $80 billion to the military budget and nobody said a goddamn word about how much it's, uh, how are we going to pay for it and how expensive it is and can we afford it? But here we're talking about something that is likely way cheaper. And they're uh, they're like, how much does that cost? And what happens after that? Guys, this is what happens. This is neoliberal rot in action. It's this notion that the government can't do anything and shouldn't do anything. And then over time, that even stifles the imagination as to what it's possible for the government to do. Because a lot of the things that we fight over in this country as like, how are you going to pay for that, are things that virtually every other developed country already has and has figured out. And there's this giant contradiction where people like to say, we're number one in the world, bro. And then they turn around and go, but we also can't do those very basic things that other industrialized countries do. What? We ab If we wanted to, it, we absolutely could do free college. We absolutely could do free healthcare. 
Now, by the way, I know any, you know, people who lean right listen listening to this and they go, well, <laughs> there's nothing free, bro. You know what I'm saying. You know how taxes work. It's called free at the point of service. In this country, what do our taxes go towards? Endless war and trillion dollar bailouts for Wall Street. All we're talking about on the left is instead of spending our money on endless war and trillion dollar bailouts for Wall Street, how about people, the government takes our tax money and actually does stuff that we like with it. And these are things that we do like according to the polling, whether it's free healthcare or free college or what have you. Universal tests. I've never seen a poll on this uh, for Americans, but go ahead and poll them and I'd love to see what the results are. You know, I, I mean, people get COVID healthcare bills in this country, tens of thousands of dollars worth. We had one little taste of, uh, you know, universal healthcare and the boogeyman socialized medicine in this country and everybody cream themselves over it. Namely, the uh, free vaccine. You know, what, what are we at now? 70-ish percent of the country uh, is vaccinated with the free vaccine. And I don't know about you guys, but I had a wonderful experience because I you walk right in. Now, I don't know why they asked to see your insurance card. They shouldn't, but you walk right in, you show it, and they're like, okay, do, and then that's it, and you're done, and you're like, and you leave. Zero dollars and zero cents. Now, most people I talk to are like, why doesn't everything work like that? Yeah, why doesn't everything work like that? And the response from the elites are, this is a deadly pandemic, so it's different. It's not like other health issues, which are not deadly. What? <laughs> so many of them are deadly. I, I mean, it's just obscene. This is obscene. In the UK, you can get seven tests per day for free. And in the US, we are mocking the idea of sending one test to every American. The thing that gives me life out of that clip is the earned condescension of the reporter. I wish I had uh, the name to give credit to that reporter because that was fantastic. Why don't we just make him free and give him to everybody? <laughs> what, do you want to send one to every American? And the response is, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And more than one, actually. How much does that cost and what happens after that? Uh, how much it costs is nothing compared to the ridiculous amount of money we waste on wars and Wall Street bailouts. And... What happens after that is people have fucking tests and they'll know if they get COVID and then they'll be able to stay home and mitigate it more effectively. And that's a wonderful thing. No, but we see, we I, when I was mocking the idea, I didn't mean to mock the idea. What I meant to say was that we share the same goal of increasing access to affordability and whatnot. If the media does a good job like you saw here, it exposes the system for the farce that it is. And it gets more people to come to correct conclusions. You know, and uh, I just wish we saw this on every front. I wish we saw this when it comes to um, illegal and offensive wars in this country. Unfortunately, we don't. Usually the media manufactures consent and is on the side of the establishment. I hope, I wish we saw this about the financial system. We don't. I wish we saw this about taxes. We don't. I wish we saw this about corruption. We don't. But this is a rare issue where you realize, oh, a good media is really important to hold powerful people accountable. Look, it used to be the case that, especially when it came to campaign reporting, this is a point that Matt Taibbi has made. It used to be the case that um, you would have the reporters who would cover a campaign, they would sit in the back of the plane as the politician sitting in the front of the plane, and they would look for facts and information and to show the public what these people are doing and generally the mindset was like these people are all assholes and I'm going to expose them and then in today's day and age they're more partisan sycophantic reporters whether it's Fox News for Trump and Republicans or CNN and MSNBC for Democrats and so truth doesn't come into the equation a mindset of like let me give people information doesn't come into the equation uh, being harsh but fair doesn't come into the equation well here we get a rare taste of what it's like if we had a functional press and that was lovely. That's the way it should be. You made her look like an idiot. Because this is an idiotic response. Now, by the way, um, some of the responses on Twitter from uh, partisan Democrats and liberals is terrifying. 
because they actually start doing the mental gymnastics and the rationalizations and the justifications to back up Saki's point because these are people who don't care about policy more than uh, personas. They care more about the personas and the partisan tribalism. And so since she made this argument, they're going to back her up. Saddest, most mega cucked mindset I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever. The answer is yes. Send out free tests. I'll go a step further. The answer is yes, Joe Biden. Sign an executive order that gives everybody health care during the pandemic for free. There you go. And he has the authority to do that. Part of the Social Security Act, part of Obamacare, there's a provision of um, under an emergency, you could basically give free health care to whoever. So he could do it. He's choosing not to do it. And my guess is if we were even to start having the conversation, Jen Psaki would be like, Pfft. Do you just want to give people free health care at the point of service? Pfft. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.